Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to do forward and backward scans in relation to critical parts. And the concept is pretty straightforward. What we're basically trying to achieve is we're trying to find out what's the earliest start time a certain activity can begin and what's the latest start time an earlier activity. The earl sorry, what's the latest start time an activity can begin. So let's have a look at what I've got here. So I've got a network diagram and on top of each vertice, I've got these boxes. So these boxes represent, the top box represents the early start time and the bottom box represents the latest start time. So the earliest it can begin and also the latest it can begin. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna be doing a forward scan, which is in relation to the earliest start time. Now, how do we do a forward scan? When we do a forward scan, what we do is we add the edges as we go along and we wanna choose the biggest number as we go along. So what I mean by that is, we're always gonna start with zero. So I'm gonna put a zero here. And I'm gonna go along the edge till I reach the finish line. So zero plus three is gonna give me three in the next box. So I keep going up. So three plus six is nine. Next one down here, I've got three plus eight, that's 11. Up here, I've got nine plus four, which is 13. Now here, I need to make a decision because I actually have three edges which connect to my next early start time box. Okay, as you can see, I've highlighted here. The first one is you've got 13 plus two, which will be 15. The second is nine plus six, which will be 16. And lastly, 11 plus four is 15. And what we wanna do is we actually wanna choose the biggest number. So I think that's nine plus seven, which is 16. Okay, cool. And then lastly, 16 plus three, that's gonna be 19. So our forward scan is done. Okay, now we're gonna do a backward scan, which like the name suggests, we're gonna start backwards and we're going to get all the way back to the start vertex. Now opposite to the forward scan, instead of adding, we're gonna subtract. And instead of choosing the biggest, we're gonna choose the smallest. So let's do this. So I start, at the end, and we'll write 19. So the first and the last two boxes are always gonna be the same. And I just move my way backwards. So 19 minus three is 16. I've got 16 minus two, well, that's gonna be a 14. I've got, now I have an option. So I've got 14 minus four, which is 10, or I've got 16 minus seven, which is nine. So I'm gonna choose the smallest one there, which is 16 minus seven, nine. Moving way, way down here. So 16 minus four is 12. Now I have a clash again. So I've got nine minus six, which is three. I've also got 12 minus eight, which is four. So obviously that will be three. And then lastly, three minus three is zero. Okay, so that is done. All right, so what's the point of this? You'll, some of you may notice that some of the boxes are actually the same value and that represents our critical path. So let me highlight that there. So that represents my critical path. So my critical path is A, B, F, and H. And all that is trying to tell us is those activities those four activities, A, B, F, and H, they can't be, they can't be affected if we want to finish the project on time. So they need to be done at exactly when the early start time is and exactly when the latest start time is. Whereas the other activities, there's a bit of leeway. So that's a way to think about it. All right, let's have a look at another example. Okay, so here we've got another network, but this time we don't have our boxes. So let's draw them in. Okay, let's complete a forward scan. So the first box is always gonna be zero. Zero plus five up here will be five. Now I've got one in the middle. So I've either got five plus four, which is nine, or I've got zero plus 14, which is 14. So let's choose 14, because that's bigger than nine. Now we need to move down here. 
So it's going to be 14 plus 6, that's 20. Now I need to make a decision again. So it is 14 plus 7 bigger than 20 plus 3? Well, no, it's not because 14 plus 7 is 21 and 20 plus 3 is 23. So that's done there. So forward scan done. Let's do a backward scan. So start at the end, 23. Work my way backwards. So you notice here, I actually have to go down first because... Before I can go here, I need to get down here so they can figure out if that one will clash. So 23 minus 3 is 20. Okay, what's 23 minus 7? That is 16. So is that smaller than 20 minus 4? No, that's 14. 20 minus 4. 14. So going up here, so 14 minus 4 is 10. And then going back to the starting node, so I've got 14 minus 4 or 10 minus 5. It has to be 14 minus 14 because that's 0. So to highlight my critical path, it looks like it's going to go from here to here. And then down and then up here. And that's my critical path. Okay, let's look at another one. So here's one with a dummy. Let me draw in my little boxes first. Okay, let's begin. So starting at the start vertex, moving along 0 plus 4 is going to give 4 here. Going up to B, 4 plus 5 is 9. I forgot a little box there. 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, coming across here, 9 plus 7 is 16. Now you notice here, well, what do you actually do here. So a dummy variable represents zero. So it's either nine plus zero or it's seven plus two. Well, they happen to be the same thing. So that's going to be a nine there. Okay. Moving down here. So seven plus three is 10. Moving along to K, 10 plus four is 14. Need to make a decision here. So is it nine plus four? Or is it 14 plus 3? So it's going to be 14 plus 3, right? Because that's going to be 17. And then finally, is it going to be 16 plus 6? Or is it going to be 17 plus 8? Well, it's 17 plus 8 because 25 is bigger than 22. 25. Okay, now let's work our way back. So 25 at the bottom. And now we're going to subtract and choose the smallest. 25 minus 8 is 17 here. Going down, 17 minus 3 is 14. 14 minus 4 is 10. So this looks like it's going to be our critical path, but let's wait and find out. 25 minus 6 is 19. 17 minus, 17 minus 4 is 13. So need to make a decision. Is 19 minus 7 smaller than 13 minus 0? Well, yeah, by 1. 19 minus 7 is 12. In the middle, 12 minus 2 is 11, or 10 minus 3 is 7. So, 7 is smaller than 11. Okay, 12 minus 5 is 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. So, that is 4 and 0. So, just to finish and highlight my critical path, so it's here, 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 here. And here, so A, E, I, K, L, and H. Okay, so I hope that helped in helping you learn how to do a forward and backward scan and then using that to find the critical path. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.